Okay, we're um, nearing the end of um, lesson two or the module two, and this is where we're going to go into our AdWords Express account and we're going to set up our advertisement or advertisement, depending on where you are, um, depends how you want to say it. So, you would have gone back to the previous video where we got the $100 code and you've um, everything set up there. Um, you, oh, actually, sorry, you've. <laughs> We, in the previous video we went in and we said we got the $100 credit code and so now we're going to need that credit card to put in the big fat $25 into the account. So this is what I'm saying is they will boost it to the $100 um, and the way I look at it is that it's a, you know, a $1 and we'll give you four offer so you can't go wrong and um, we need to do this before we set up your campaign. So go back into um, uh, we need to go here to the www.google.com adwords slash express or depends where you are you can type in the .co.nz or .com.au and we need to go here to get started so when you go to um, uh, get started uh, this is really really key we 100% have got to have that gmail um, system set up and if you don't have the gmail account set up we found it difficult you can go to this youtube a video here and um, it'll show you how to do it because we're going to need this account. Now when we go and set up our advertising or the advertisement there are no shortcuts and there are no tricks. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go into the PDF and I want you to go and click on this link here and have a read through their advertising policy because they're super super strict and a real person actually checks your ad advertisements uh, because you know they need to be very careful on what's what gets said and what doesn't so if you think you've found a way around it you'll be wrong um, everyone's tried to and there's no way to get around it so again here's Jurek's um, details here he's a strategist with Google and he's more than happy to help you if you get stuck so let's go back to our um, AdWords Express account and let's get started so I've already um, kind of jumped ahead and logged in so when I hit here it'll say welcome sorry I haven't I thought I had I thought it was a J for John so it's um it'll it'll come up here and say get started and then just click your way through so in here I've put in my business website now it's really important that um, this is all correct and just make sure it is because uh, what it does is Google will look at the content on your site in relation to the advertisement you're writing and making sure that it's all relevant if it's not relevant what's called your quality score will be given a low score and the score is given between 1 and 10 so if you get a score of 2 or 3 you'll be paying a lot more than a person that's uh, got a quality score of 8 or 10 a good example of this is you know you might have um, someone that's a, a landscape gardener and they're trying to promote pest control well their ad you know when Google points it to the landing page of the of, of their website it's not really going to be kind of relevant so the more relevant your ad is to the content on your site the better it's going to be for you trust me on that make sure you get that right so put in your um, your business name in here um, I'd, I'd leave this unchecked otherwise you can tend to get badgered a lot now you might think we're getting into the tricky part but this is about all you need to do to set up AdWords Express it's very simple now remember for um, what I'm doing I said in my little booklet that I wanted to be five kilometers away from my um, from my office where I am so make sure you put here distance from your uh, business and you can pull the uh, the little thing along here and it'll only show your ad you know within 565 kilometers of Auckland for example so my advertisement is not going to be shown Wellington Nelson or Christchurch it'll only be shown in this region so that's what you call localization so let's just go through here and um, this is where you're going to need to pull those key bits out in the planner because this is super super important now remember here what I'm going to do here is I'm really going to focus on um, my location which is the headline and the ad text I'm wanting to put in a like an office and I wanted to talk about ants to say that I'm fast 
I've got experience and I give a guarantee. So this is what my ad will look like here. Very, very simple. It's got very limited words. If you run out of words, these little numbers here will tell you you've reached at 25 and they go read if you go over. So head of a play around with it and get your advertisement right. Now, make sure you go back to this lifecycle marketing booklet and always pull out some of those key points that were relevant to your business and your avatar of your customer. It's super, super, super important. Then go click on next and you'll go to the next slide. Now, don't be worried about this section here because you can change this as you're going along. So what you could do here is say, well, I only want to spend $500 a month. And um, this here will just tell you how relevant you are within your competition. Now, you can see here at $500 a month, um, typical, your competitor's budget range sits within this, this section here. So you're at the, the low end, but that's okay. And people are spending about $16 a day. So that's just giving you an idea for pest control in New Zealand. But hey, off this here, you know, you, you, you are going to get, you are going to get um, uh, leads and inquiries. I mean, look at this here, see, 136 clicks. Now, this information here is, you know, very close to those numbers I was telling you about, those 100 clicks before in that previous video. So it just kind of gives you an idea, you start thinking, right, okay, $500 a month, what's each customer worth? If I send out a lead magnet, now you start to see the picture. So let's just go on here and say we're happy with our ad. And um, you're thinking, right, that all looks pretty good. Uh, you've got your ad done, you've got your budget, and don't worry, you can change this, change this at any time. And then what you want to do is pull up, this is where we're going to need um, your credit card details. So pop your credit card details into here. Um, don't panic, it's not going to um, start ripping thousands of dollars out of your account. And what we'll need to do is just fill in your details through here. And then when you get to this section down the bottom, this is where you pop in that code right there. Now remember I said to you um, Google will give you the hundred dollars. Now I can't, don't know if you can quite see that, but that there, that's um, debits, that's credit. So that's my credit, a hundred dollars appears right there on your account. So Google do put it in the minute you uh, spend that twenty five dollars. So once you've done that it'll come up and say congrats, uh, um, you've got your reward. Now that's that's once it, once sorry, when it comes up, that's you once you've done spent your twenty five dollars. So you'll get a little notification up here, and it'll say we've added a hundred dollars for your future spend to your account. So sorry, that's where it comes up, just up here. You'll see it pop up, and what Google does is in your account, these little yellow bars pop up now and then. Um, you're giving you little tips and tricks on what what you can and what you can't do. So once you've done that, just click um, go on to the next bar, and congratulations, it's all done. It's really straightforward. So if you click on the uh, continue to the dashboard uh, button up here, this button here, just click on there, and here you have your account all set up. As simple as that. Now this next part is really really key. What I need you to do is I want you to place the account in inactive. So I want you to place it on pause. So just go to that little button up there and slide it to the left and put it on pause because we don't want any ads running at the moment because we haven't set up your lead magnet. So at the moment we've set up your campaign, we've set up your budget, we've activated your $100 credit as um, soon as the $25 is spent, and we want to pause it. Now what Google will do is they will check your ad and notify you that your ad's been approved or disapproved even though it's paused. So once your ad is approved, just ignore the email, but don't do anything yet. Just just leave it on pause, and then this will come up. Uh, deact deactivate the lead machine. Are you sure? And just go OK. OK. So then just pause it. Now Google may take about 24 hours to approve your ad. Um, if it's declined, you'll need to go back and do it again. It'll be declined because you've used um, you know some sort of word that was disapproved. Um, there's a hundred reasons why they will they'll disapprove it. So just make sure your ad is honest and it's relative to the content on your website and you can't go wrong. So again, in red, pause your ad for now and just wait. 
So what we've got to do now is, yeah, we've basically got to go away and build your lead magnet, stick it on your website, and get your um, uh, everything on your website, and then we'll release the the campaign, and then it'll just crank up the traffic. So what we'll do now is this is basically the end of this section here of uh, section two, which is setting up all the um, accounts. So now what we need to do is we now need to set up the landing pages and I'll show you how to set up the lead magnet in the next module. Um, what I want you to do now is just kind of recap on everything we've done. Have a good read of some of the content that you did in the first module. Uh, get your head around the uh, Google um, AdWords Express account that we've set up. Just get familiar with everything and just take your time and, and just wait until we get the next module because that's when we're going to start building your lead magnet and landing pages. Take care and we'll see you on the next module. Bye.